Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to talk to you guys about a few things, but most notably the newest update at 2.9, the patch that's going to be hitting sometime in the future, hopefully before the end of the month, guys, because things are a little dry in the game right now. So we are getting a new area as far as we can see here from the announcement and from the pictures. A lot of people have mentioned that because of the blue uh, arrow, as you guys can see, there's about four visible blue arrows with kind of a design around it. It kind of looks like a, a little alien thing uh, in, in light blue. Uh, it looks like something from uh, New Atalan, which is uh, the home of the Inhumans, so we could be getting something like that. Um, I really don't know anything else about what the hell this is, if it's a, you know, a game mode where we fight, if it's a game mode where we kill stuff, if it's PvE, if it's PvP, we really just have the pictures. Uh, now I, I wanna you know, mention that, you know, shout out, thank you to uh, some Reddit users uh, who pointed out that this is new uh, Atalan uh, as far as the arrow goes, that, that kind of flew over my head. But also, um, just some thoughts on what this could be. For starters, we may just be getting new special missions that have uh, new characters to farm if they're going to be bringing in some more of the Inhumans now that we have both Medusa and Black Bolt. Uh, I've seen a few people mention that this could be uh, somewhere that Alliance, Alliance members do battle with special enemies or where they do battle with other alliances, similar to the Alliance tournaments that we have now, but just for regular alliances. Those are all pretty good ideas. Um, in general, I feel kind of ambivalent towards the idea of getting new content in the game. Um, I have some thoughts about the game, about the state of the game kicking around in my head that I want to present to you guys in a you know well coherent way in another video so I don't want to spoil too much of that by revealing how I feel about potentially another game mode being added to this game with you know different rewards or different items to grind different resources more time invested uh, that may be giving you a hint already as to my stance on the thing but whether my stance is positive or negative I do have to say that I am excited and I am looking forward to an update whatever it may bring uh, the other big news that we're getting as far as the 2.9 update, and again, this is very limited amount of information, so I'm going to exposit and try and extrapolate on what I'm uh, reading and what we've gotten so far just to cover my bases and also to give you guys some projections and some predictions for what may come. We're also getting this Alliance store. Uh, so this, thank you for the dimension of Benson. So this Alliance store is going to allow you to exchange Alliance tokens for, in Netmarble's words, a wonderful assortment of items. And they're still unsure as to how the tokens will be obtained, whether it will be from Extreme Alliance Battle, Regular Alliance Battle, from Daily Contributions, um, and then it doesn't even tell us what is going to be in the Alliance stores for us to get as rewards. Additionally, we will get Alliance Emblems, which allow us to customize the style of our Alliance by having a little logo. So let's go in game and check out exactly how this is probably going to break down. As for the existing alliance mechanics, as you can see here, the accumulated contribution, the XP that everyone has been grinding towards the alliance's level is listed and updated, uh, you know, hourly and it, and it kind of rolls over every day. You guys can see there my accumulated reward is just shy of 3.4 million. And for doing those accumulated rewards, but also for doing daily rewards, you do get uh, some bonus items so it's a way to grind some clear tickets it's a way to grind some gold there are big rewards still waiting for me uh, after I pass those uh, milestones and I'm, I'm guessing that this might be how they roll out these new alliance tokens maybe you have to continue grinding for XP and it incentivizes people to stay in the same alliance and to continue grinding and, and playing missions and not just clear ticketing everything because they'll be getting those alliance tokens. They may uh, connect it to like these alliance achievements here that give us energy. They may have other achievements that you have to complete uh, within your alliance. Like you have to you have to kill the world boss a hundred times. You have 40 alliance members. You know, each person has to clear two and a half world bosses on average in order to get to get that. Something like that. Or they could tie it to the Alliance Battle Scores, they could tie it to the Extreme Alliance Battle stores, Scores. I honestly think that's the worst option available because it punishes players who are still building their Extreme Alliance Battle rosters and who can't get very high scores. Um, however, I do think that could be a potential option because 
the rewards right now for extreme alliance battle are not very good there's just two tiers of rewards at 50,000 and at a hundred thousand and almost every day of the week uh now you can easily get over a hundred thousand sometimes over 150 200 300 400 thousand even uh so they may tier the, the the token rewards that way to incentivize the top top players to to try and score ever so much higher and keep challenging their best score for uh you know the, to the tune of thirty thousand gold i sincerely hope they do not do that and they go with something uh neutral and something fair like the uh, accumulated xp contribution because anyone can do that as long as you have energy you can uh contribute and you can you can accumulate tokens there's probably going to be a cap on how many tokens you can get so don't expect this to be like the new shangri-la for grinding and i do imagine as a lot of you probably already have that the alliance store is going to be very or the alliance shop i should say is going to be very similar to the honor token and chaos token shops i wouldn't be surprised if they just added a third tab right here to the right of the chaos token shop above ant-man's head and added there the alliance tokens and they just boom did that and it was basically a copy pasta of this kind of stuff except instead of nordstones maybe you have chaos nordstones maybe you have some uru uh, it would be nice if we got some like uniform upgrade chips. It would be, f it would be actually fucking superb, so crispy if we got something like the um, the the little blue uniform upgrade kit boxes. If I can buy those in the Alliance store, I'm all over this update. I'll give this update an A plus. If I can buy these horrifyingly awful to grind items uh, with my Alliance tokens, hell yeah, Net Marble, you're you're good in my books for another week. But those are the uh, two notices or the two kind of hints uh, that we have for upcoming content. We've got some changes and some additions coming to alliances, whether that ties into the uh, maps that we saw that have kind of a, an inhuman feel to them with the blue arrows. Uh, that is yet to be discovered. It could be totally a misnomer and it could have nothing to do with inhumans at all. We will have to wait and see. Now, the other thing that I wanted to bring up to you guys and that I wanted to talk about is somewhat of a contentious topic. So I will warn you here, I am switching gears. We are talking about something else. I don't have anything else to say at this time about the new update. But I wanted to pose this question to you guys and see not only your reaction, but also your thoughts on this from a genuine standpoint of view. I'm not looking for hate. I'm not looking for, uh, you know, to be to be shut down in my ideas. I'm looking for some earnest discussion. Uh, and so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt if you're easily triggered. Co-op mode and world boss invasion, to me, serve basically the same purpose and tickle most of the same gaming needs or itches that we have. I, The more I think about it, the more I think that there shouldn't really be both co-op mode and world boss invasion. Uh, I don't want to take any of these modes away for people that are wondering. I don't think that they should be removed. I don't want the rewards to be removed. I'm not trying to nerf gold or anything like that. I'm not a net marble spy. But, you know, it, it seems to me like both game modes you can use your whole roster. Both game modes get you uh, gold as a primary valuable resource. But World Boss Invasion tends to give you more, uh, albeit random bios. Uh, co-op you can play with your friends which can can be exciting for the five seconds that you're there killing the boss because most co-ops these days don't last more than 10 seconds and then world boss invasion uh, you can't play with your friends and it's mostly a frustrating experience if you either get disconnected or you queue up with people who don't know their hands from their ass and end up killing themselves making it so that you can't win because they keep summoning clones or they don't press the purple button or they press it too often or they ruin any number of things so i think while both game modes do bring a lot to the table and both game modes are a wealthy source of gold and of farming for the general player base i'm not really sure that we need both of them is there a way that we can combine them into one game mode we can double the rewards or or 1.5 times the rewards so it, it evens out that we're not losing rewards i mean in co-op you either spend more than an hour playing through manually with your roster or you spend clear tickets, which are very valuable. In World Boss Invasion, you spend energy and you will spend a lot of your time no matter what you do because you can't auto it. And if you get disconnected or you get paired with morons, you can have a lot of failed runs. 
So both of these game modes, I know they're optional, I know you don't need to do them, but if you if you want to or if you intend to try and at least partially clear both of them, I mean they each represent upwards of two hours to clear. That's four hours worth of content in two game modes that to me are so similar it, it hurts. What is really so different, you know? At least with a game mode like special missions, there are different drops that you can get as opposed to story missions. And it's different also because you can grind for a particular bio for a much longer time. You're capped at 10 bios on story missions. The only big difference between co-op, thank you for the Dimension Rift, the only big difference between co-op and World Boss Invasion is energy versus no energy, and there's a very small chance in World Boss Invasion you can get lucky, and you can get a shit ton of bios for a useful character, or you can get, in a very rare case, Chaos Nordstones or Black Antimatter. But in general, they give the same kinds of rewards, and aside from the bios, I would say, World Boss Invasion is better for that. Um, but it just strikes to me the question of, do we really need both of these? Um, and is there a way to merge them and make way for something better? You know, personally, although I do like both of these game modes, I would prefer to have just one of these game modes and have something totally different in its place. Whether it's a PvP arena, whether it's some some whole other game mode that I haven't thought of yet, a, a puzzle mini quest, a, a side-scrolling platformer. I don't know, I'm not actually serious with those suggestions, but I just feel like we don't need any more repetition in this game. We're kind of full on repetition. Uh, and at this point, I am asking the question, and I am posing it to you guys seriously, is there enough of a difference, not in the rewards, but in the way that you play, in the mechanics, in the, in the experience, is there enough of a difference between co-op and world boss invasion that it actually justifies having them both there? I would love to know your thoughts, guys. I would love to know what you think about that, if you think I'm totally wrong, if you think that maybe they should be merged or maybe they could somehow be reduced or you know truncated but still maintain the same rewards and stuff like that. Please don't get confused and think that I'm trying to nerf game rewards. That's not the case. Uh, and let me know what you guys think of the new content. If you have a better idea or better suggestion about what that new map could be, uh, if you know what the Alliance tokens will be like, I've heard a lot of people talking that it could be very similar to uh, in Star Wars Galaxies of Heroes, if you've ever played that game, although I don't want to compare Netmarvel to, to uh, EA just yet, uh, so we'll have to see and wait for that, but of course guys, as always, let me know what your thoughts are, and if you like what you see guys, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.